The border crisis is one of the uh, top two issues concerning Americans today. The other one, is, of course, is the economy, as it always is. It doesn't matter if the economy is good, bad, or indifferent. People will always be concerned about it, as it because it pertains directly to them. But the border crisis, for the first time, arguably, in our history, is having a direct effect on pretty much everybody, which is why even the Democrats cannot ignore it. Now, Kamala Harris has been putting out uh, ads very recently that say that she has a plan on how to fix it. Of course, she is she is the border czar, so you'd think that if she had a plan to fix it, she would have, well, already fixed it. But but she's putting this out there. And again, don't forget, you might say, oh, that's ludicrous, except look at the people around you, look at your friends, your neighbors, your coworkers. They are generally, unfortunately, many of them are sheep. And so they will buy into this, oh, Kamala will fix the border. Kamala will fix the border. Well, how does she propose to fix the border? She proposes to fix the border, wait for it, by adding more border patrol agents. Now on the surface, you might think to yourself, wow, you know, that is that maybe that will have a direct impact on the border crisis. More people. That's, that's better, right? She's not saying she's going to build the wall. She's not going to going to relaunch Trump's uh, stay in Mexico plan, which, which was wildly successful, by the way, she's not going to do anything like that. Okay. She's going to add more border patrol agents. Now this to somebody who's thinking, you know, just hearing anything. Oh, that's a good idea. Basically, you know, more, more border cops means, means fewer illegal aliens, right? No, this is a, this is a play that's intended to appeal to both sides. On one side, you have the, the people that are concerned about the border crisis, whether they're Republicans, Democrats, independents, doesn't matter. Those people are going to hear this. And if they don't think too hard about it, they'll be like, oh, well, I guess that, that that could possibly work, but it won't, and I'll explain why. The other people, the people that might be concerned, they'll go to, to Kamala and they'll be behind closed doors or maybe even in public, you know, you can't, you, you know, we need, you know, nobody's illegal. What are you trying to do? And she'll be like, oh, no, no, don't worry, don't worry, okay? We're hiring more Border Patrol agents not to stop people. We're trying to help them. We're trying to expedite the process. So in other words, she has this solution to the border crisis, but her solution is to basically make it easier for illegal aliens to cross over, get processed, and and be allowed to to be free and roam across the country uh, at their at their leisure. That's the plan. And I'm sorry. I mean, you know, you could say that she's dumb, or that her campaign's dumb, or that Democrats are dumb, or that anybody's dumb. But this is kind of a smart move. I hate to say it, but it really is because she has the ability to appeal to both sides of the argument. She can say if she's talking to an audience that's concerned about the, the border crisis. She'll be like, yeah, we're going to hire more border patrol agents. We're going to get more, more boots on the ground right there at the border. And they're going to, they're going to apprehend more, more illegal uh, crossers, more migrants, as she likes to call them, more asylum seekers, as she likes to call them. But then if she's talking to those who are like, you know, we need open borders. We, you can't stop. It's like, no, 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 don't worry. <laughs> Look around. This is actually going to make it easier for us to to bring in more illegal aliens. Oh, sorry, sorry. More migrants, more asylum seekers. Don't worry, I've got a plan. Trust me. Uh, there was a border patrol chief who who alluded to this, and uh, it was you know, very well done. He doesn't he doesn't buy the plan. That's according to uh, if you can go over to America First report, this comes from. Daily Caller News Foundation's Jason Hopkins, but we have it republished with permission over at AmericaFirstReport.com. Kamala Harris suddenly knows how to, quote, fix the border crisis, but a retired Border Patrol chief isn't buying it. VP Harris, her campaign is attempting to cast her as a tough-on-the-border candidate, but a former leader of the Border Patrol is warning the public not to buy it. The Harris campaign has released a slate of advertisements that claim the presumptive Democrat presidential candidate would fix the border and crack down on illegal immigration by increasing the number of Border Patrol agents. However, retired Border Patrol Chief Rodney Scott, who led the agency while Harris served as quote-unquote border czar, which I think technically she still is, they didn't say, oh, we're rescinding your border czar status. No, they just she's never really accepted it, whatever. Um, Rodney Scott says voters must look at her record to understand how she would really handle border security. Look at the track record and dive into the details, Scott told the Daily Caller. It's smoke and mirrors. Just like the Senate bill, she supports more funding and more agents, but it's to expedite the, the processing and flow of more illegal aliens into the United States quicker. It's not border security. They're trying to, they're literally, she's under the guise of border security. She is literally trying to open the borders even more. If you could 
possibly imagine that. And we don't want to imagine that. I know there's a lot of, a lot of, I've been seeing more and more, you know, boisterous or whatever activist, never Trumpers out there. You got people like Mike Pence, who somehow <laughs> he's answering questions that nobody's asking him, but he says, I'm not going to support either, either side this time. It's like, okay, well, thanks, Mike. You know, don't don't you have like a like a fellowship to go to, or don't shouldn't you be um, be working for the military industrial complex? Doesn't Ukraine need another ambassador? I don't know what he's thinking, uh, but nobody cares. But there's more people like him, and so to those people, I would say this: if you are like, oh, you know, I'm a Republican, I'm a conservative, but I just don't like Trump. There's a lot of hyperbole in the world of politics, you know, a lot of times people will say, this will be our last election if we don't vote right, or or we'll lose all of our rights. And it comes from both sides, okay, to be clear. Both sides say, this is it, this is the last one, this is the most important election of our lifetime, this is the one that we gotta get right. If, if we don't get this one right, then the America is doomed, right? Well, here's the thing. If Kamala Harris is elected president, and especially if the Democrats are able to steal their way into control of the House and the Senate, within those two years where they have complete control, they will destroy the United States of America. What you're seeing right now in England is nothing compared to what you will see in the United States if Democrats have any more time controlling things. We need Trump to get in there and fix it. I don't care if you don't like Trump, fine. You like Kamala, you know, if you want to, I'm not going to make the lesser of two evils argument. I'm not going to, and don't even get me started on RFK Jr. All I'm saying is this, is that we need to, to get together. We need to rally behind Trump, even if it's just for this. This alone is an existential threat that has immediate, immediate impact. The moment that she is back in office, if she has a Democrat-controlled House and Senate, it's over. And even if she doesn't, by the way, don't forget, even if she doesn't have, can, the Democrats don't have control of the House and Senate, she'll still be able to do a whole lot with her pen. You thought Joe Biden was bad? You thought Kamala Harris as border czar was bad? Kamala Harris as president would be the death of the United States of America. My shows and clips from my shows post on various places such as RVM News, Rumble Channel, Frank Speech, Spruley TV, the Liberty Daily's Rumble Channel, but the place where you'll be able to find all of them, every clip that I do, uh, eventually, sometimes not, not nearly as quickly as the other places, but eventually I will put them all over on my Rumble Channel, which you can get to at jdrucker.com slash rumble. That's jdrucker.com slash rumble.